Hey there, this is Vanessa DeBerlay, and today we're going to learn how to plan on Post Planner. I did a video yesterday on how to navigate Post Planner, and we kind of did a tour of everything. It's a real quick tutorial, so if you've never used this before and you want to see all of the features, like all in a quick view, uh, a quick navigation, then go into my playlist where I have network marketing tools and you will see the navigation in there. Today we're only going to talk about one part, the planning. You can find content, you can plan content, and you can post it. And today I want to talk about planning the content. If you don't have an account and you would like the trial subscription, then go to um, postplanner.com or just go ahead and hit the link below. Either one will work. And once you're in there, it will help you set all of your different platforms up. I'm using two Twitter accounts and one Facebook account. Right now I have the lowest platform that just has three different accounts. I'm actually going to upgrade because this has been amazing. But we're going to talk about planning today. <clears throat> Excuse me. When you go in, you'll have a default plan right here. Um, you can hit the top and you can see plan off to the left. And this is what it looks like. For me, I looked at this and I'm like, what the heck? Basically, this is so amazing. You are just laying out what type of posts that you want at a certain time. So think that way. Don't worry about your posts. Don't worry about quality, content, any of that. All you're thinking about is what am I going to do each day? Now here you can do weekdays and click these off or on if you want to. See, maybe you don't want to post on Tuesday, or if you do, you keep it on there. Uh, some people, here you have Saturday if you want to add that into your list. So basically, you have control over which days that you want to post. You also have control over what time that you post. That's why this is not a robot, um, and it's not shut down at all like some other programs are, because you do have to come in here and you do have to schedule it, but it's not um, as cumbersome as doing it on your own. So here I'm going to add a new time. I, I want to post at 6 o'clock a.m. Maybe I want to post again at 8.30. So I'm going to hit 8.30 a.m. and just add. Twitter, obviously, if you're already posting a lot, I know myself, I, I try to post 10, 11, 12 times a day. So with this, I can do that. I'll show you the one that I've built out. But I can just add my times by doing that. Over here, this was confusing to me at first. I thought, oh, is that posting a photo and a video? No, it's not. It's telling the system later when I show you how to find your content and post your content. What it does, it's going to tell the system, okay, Vanessa just found a photo that she wants to post and she's going to post it in the next available slot so it would go here all right so this video then it kind of it cancels out this side so if i do another photo post it's going to go down here and skip 11:30. later when i sit down and i say okay i'm going to do a whole bunch of content that has links then it will fill up my links. Does that make sense? But it's only going to do one post in each slot. If you don't care what gets posted and you definitely want to post every single hour that you have scheduled, then you want to fill it up like this. You want every single box to be full and you want to tell it, I don't care what gets posted, but I want every, you know, every, as I'm posting the next thing, just put it in there. I did not do it that way. I will show you what I did. This is my one account that I've been posting in. Now, see how that's blank? Sometimes you'll go there and go, oh my gosh, what happened? You have to make sure that you pick your account. Otherwise, it'll stay blank. This is one that I am actively posting in. And I have chosen, I've, I've done a little bit of research, um, did some reading on um, the best way to post. And it seems like, like anything else, you want to do a couple of engagements and then a call to action. So I kind of have mine on a... A kind of a, a system of three posts and then one link. That link is my call to action. Up here, sometimes I like to put quotes, sometimes pictures. So instead of getting real picky about it, I just said either one. So every time I post a quote, it's going to take the next available slot. And like I said, it'll cancel out that second box, if that makes sense. So that's your schedule. So don't think about what your post is. I want you to go into your post planner now. If you decided to get an account, go in and just set up your times 
and set up what type of content that you want to post there. Tomorrow, come back and I will show you how to find your content. And it's all on here. You don't have to go looking for it anymore. It is amazing. Give me a thumbs up if this was helpful. I don't like my videos to be long, so that's why I didn't put everything in one video because I don't know about you, but I, I, I start getting lost. I start to wander. So I'm a short video lover. Thumbs up if this was helpful. Come back tomorrow. We'll talk about finding content, and I'll show you how it all comes together. But right now, if you just take the time and make the plan, then we'll come back in and fix it. I also, if you don't have... a a subscription go ahead and hit the link below it is an affiliate link um, you, you're more than welcome to use that I'd be happy to have you join and I will see you tomorrow thanks for watching